says the uh, program I'm using for the treadmill, no, the lathe uh, power supply. It's uh, done in with the Arduino IDE, which is a programming interface for microprocessors. There's multiple ones out there. Most common. I use a C++ of programming language, and then it compiles and does its own software up to the chip. First thing we need to do is define libraries. Um, libraries are code that is uh, already written for doing things like displays or Wi-Fi or things like that. It keeps you from having to rewrite and write your own code. So we're doing wire.h, which is for the serial communications, and then liquid crystal I2C, which is the serial display. Um, the next line defines the address and the display. Then we have a section that does all the uh, pin assignments and variable assignments. So the first line, we're defining the onboard LED, uh, which is usually uh, assigned to pin 2. That allows me to see uh, what's going on and uh, if it's actually working or not without having to add an additional circuit. The next line sets my pulse width modulation to pin 2. Um, the next line is A0, which is the analog pin, and that is what um, the potentiometer connects to. That will read the voltage the potentiometer is putting out when, I, when it changes, and then makes it a digital number. The next line is the output pin, uh, or output, that's just a variable that we uh, throw something at. You have to define your variables before you use them. Lead value is another variable. Hot pin, hot pin is a pin that I'm using to supply voltage to the potentiometer. I had it hooked up to volt, uh, 3.3 volt pin. But uh, when you turn it the whole way down, it shorts the whole port out. So I don't want to do that. So I assigned it to a pin instead, and then I will enable that pin to supply voltage. So when I get to that low resistance of the potentiometer, it uh, just shorts out that pin and not the whole port. The next section is the setup section. It's a function. Um, so anytime you have a function that you defined, you have to uh, now the uh, we need to have the two slashes that makes a comment. That was a uh, a value I was going to use, um, decided not to use it, so I commented it out. Um, you could also add documentation by doing the slash slash. You know, the compiler doesn't read that section after it sees the slash slash. Always good to do documentation. Setup area, the setup routine. Um, Wire begin starts the I2C communications, which allows me to use the uh, display. The uh, any function has to be enclosed within the brackets, so that's always important. Pin mode tells me that I'm setting the pin to an output. I'm doing that for both the LED pin and the POTEN. Um, analog write. Frequency sets the frequency of my pulse width modulation. My potentiometer is adjusting the uh, duty cycle. So I'm having a set frequency, which is how many pulses. Um, and that's 1,000 per millisecond, I believe. So that'd be 1,000 hertz. So LCD backlight turns on the backlight, LCD begin starts to display and then clear, clears the memory. So that only 
else uh, void setup only runs once. And that's important to remember. The next section is loop section, and that will run through and continue to loop. Um, back in the day when I learned went to school for programming, using loops was highly discouraged because you could lock up a whole mainframe that other people were using as well. So things have changed. Serial begin turns on the serial port for monitoring and sets the baud rate for that port. So I can turn on the serial monitor, but it's going to tell me it's not available because I don't have the board plugged in. So that's, that's helpful with troubleshooting. So serial print um, prints whatever value to the serial monitor. Um, serial print LN does the same thing, but adds a carriage return. So if you did serial print by itself, your, your values that are printed in the serial monitor would go across the page. If you do serial print LN, they go down the page. The digital write, um, you use that to turn a pin on or off, and you do that by using either high or low. Um, C++ is case sensitive, so high in all caps is the right thing to do. If you do it any other way, it won't be recognized. Don't give me an error when you try to compile. Every line has to end in a semicolon. Um, something to remember. If you get an error when you're compiling, it's probably because something isn't spelled or you missed a sentence. Um, so digital write puts in high turns on the power to ten channel. Output equals analog read pot pin. That's where I'm getting that value, um, that voltage value, and assigning it to output. So the map function tells me that this set of values, so I'm reading my lead value from, I'm going to equal whatever output is, I'm going to equal that to lead value, but I want it in a range instead of an exact uh, number. So these numbers are close, but say for instance you're um, only reading 0 to 255, but you want to output 0 to 1,000. That's where you could do the map 0, 255, 0, 1,000. So it'll mathematically spread those numbers out on your, um, to your, your value, to your variable. So I'm doing it. It's pretty close. Um, I still have to tweak that a little bit. And, uh, and then re-upload it to the chip. Serial print, again, puts that to the serial monitor. Analog write writes the PMW value um, to that pin. So we're doing lead pin, which is um, defined up top. We're doing it lead value, which is the line above, um, which is uh, the output. Analog write, then we're writing it to the lead, onboard lead, and we're also writing it to the pin that drives the uh, treadmill uh, control board, which drives my motor. Put a one millisecond delay in there, that just helps with catching the math formulas up and everything. And then I set cursor for the LCD to column zero, row zero. Right, the zero, 01 and zero, 015. That's just the way computers do it. And then I've printed that value. So I'm doing lead value in the first row and the output in the second. I just was, did that way for troubleshooting. And then it just keeps looping. That's pretty.
pretty much it. We can uh, do the schematic next, and uh, hopefully you'll learn a little bit about how I'm doing this. That's it for now.